In the bookkeeping tab, you'll find that there will be no services when you first look at this tab. What you'll need to do is set up the services of which you will be adding to your client's files. In order to set up a service, what you're going to need to do is click the green button labeled Add New Bookkeeping Service. This is going to bring up the window which allows you to create the service for this section. The next thing you want to do is give your service a name. Some examples are bank rec, monthly invoicing, quarterly invoicing, quarterly bookkeeping, annual bookkeeping, and anything else that you might want to label it as. After you type the name, if you'd like the tasks listed in order from numbers 1 through whatever the max is, click the checkbox just below it and it will number them in order. Next you'll select how often this task is going to occur. You can select daily, weekly, semi-month, bi-month, quarterly, semi-annual, annually, and monthly. You'll notice that the physical settings below will change depending on what you're selecting. Next you want to set up when this occurs. So if I'm choosing monthly, I want it once each month, starting in whichever month I prefer, and due on what day of each month. Once you've selected these options, you'll then want to say whether or not you want the template to be assigned to a particular user. The general suggestion is to leave the template as none assigned, because if you assign the template to a user, this then means that any client you assign it to in future will automatically be assigned to that particular user, which you may not want. Next below, you can tell the program generally how long this will take you to complete this particular task type. You can make it 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 hours and 45 minutes. You can specify any time that you'd prefer except for 0 minutes. Second last is the checkbox that tells the program am I going to reschedule this for you automatically each year. By default, it is activated to be on. You can turn this off for any of the schemes you do create. Finally, you're going to click the Add Tasks button, which will show the steps of your scheme here in the right-hand side window. The most important thing from this menu is the due date itself. Take a look at all of the due dates in your list and make sure they match the settings you'd prefer. Once you're finished making sure the settings are correct, you'll then want to give it a name to save it by. Generally, we suggest to save it by the same name as which you've given the task. So in this case, I would like to call this Test. You don't have to name it the same name, but it is good practice. Finally, click the Save button and the program will confirm that this has been saved. Once you've saved this, you can simply just cancel out of this window and the one of which you've created will then be on the list available for you in the bookkeeping section. Once it's in your bookkeeping section, you'll notice it will be available for any of the clients in your system. So you can simply then just highlight the one you'd like to schedule, go down to the bottom and select Assign Selected Service to this client. Client Check will then ask you one last thing. Would you like to keep all of the default settings of which you created for this template? Or would you like to change anything last minute for this one particular client? Once you've made your choice, select OK, and it will then schedule these tasks for your client. If you have made a mistake in this section and you need to remove the tasks of which you have just scheduled, the way to do it from bookkeeping is to click Manage Tasks down at the bottom in the green area. Then select the tasks you no longer require, and hit delete selected items in this window. That will get rid of the tasks that are currently scheduled in this window.